What's up guys, it's Tom. I'm filming on my phone, so bear with me there. But today I'm gonna to talk to you about chapter three in the book, which is the science of framing. Now the key idea from this chapter is priming. So what's priming? Priming is important practice in reflection and preparation before speaking. So the message and frame you're trying to set comes across loud and clear to your listener. If we take the time to prime ourselves before speaking, then we develop a deeper awareness and understanding of our core principles and mission that compose our frame. So then when we wind up speaking off the cuff to our listeners, we will more naturally guide the conversation towards the frame we're trying to set. So with that, it's important that our frame is repeated and concise. That way it stands out and is the most memorable thing you say. So it's what the listener takes away. Real life example of a uh, good job of priming and framing came a couple of weeks ago in Bill Belichick's press conference before New England's came against Seattle. There was a lot of talk at the time about Belichick's letter to Trump, and it was becoming a distraction to the team, so he had to address it. He addressed it head-on and said he writes letters all the time, it was nothing political, and all his focus is on the game against Seattle. So naturally, the press tried to throw him off, and the first question they ask is, were you happy or annoyed that Trump read the letter? He responded with one word, Seattle. Then he got another question about Trump, and again, one word answer, Seattle. So now this is an extreme example, but it shows that if you prime yourself on exactly what you want your message to be, and you frame it very clearly, as Belichick did by just saying the word Seattle, you're able to completely control the narrative. So to sum it all up, the keys to framing from this chapter are priming a concise frame and sticking to it. Thank you.